Hello, thank you for joining in today. Um, we're going to be reading about think and speak positively, not negatively. As we can clearly see from Joseph's life, God brings us through our difficulties and gives us victory in the end. And I am living proof of this. He doesn't want us to ignore or deny hardships or challenges when we face them. But he does want us to deny their right to control us through negative thinking and speaking and acting. Joseph was a young man sold into slavery by his very own brothers. But the Lord was with him. Whatever Joseph did, the Lord made him to prosper. You can find this beautiful story in Genesis chapter 39. And eventually, Joseph became second in command over all of Egypt. See Genesis 41, 41. Learn to think and speak positively as Joseph did. Um, it takes a lot of practice, but practice makes perfect. So it does nothing but help you to live a positive life to be positive. You could say, I may have difficult circumstances, but God is with me. God has given me favor, a power, an anointing. One person can think I lost my job, but God is faithful. Another may think my husband left me, but God is my provider. I had to think I was abused, but God has promised me double for my trouble. The sick person can think I have health problems, but God is my healer. Praise the Lord. There's always a positive side to a negative situation. Like, I could think, woe is me. Life is horrible because of the situation and the cards I've been dealt. Or I could think, praise God, my children are home with the Lord. And they are safe. Their souls are safe. Praise God. I'm saved from going to hell the Lord God has set me down in my last days of this earth and he has also exalted me at the same time so no matter what you don't have you do have God always and with him all things are possible all things more than we could even think to ask God is ready to bless us so Line your words up with God's word and speak his word. Speak promises yes and amen. Hallelujah. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you for joining in with me.